podcast. Oh, here we go. All right, as people start trickling in, I want to welcome you to the Virtual College Exploration for New Jersey Students, sponsored by the New Jersey Association for College Admissions Counseling and ShriveScan. So I want to thank you all for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. So you can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. Um, this is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the full schedule at njacac.org. Um, this presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website, which is njacac.org. So I'd like to turn it over to our presenters. So. And there you go. Awesome. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. We are thrilled to have you here today to get a little sampling of Schools of the South. My name is Victoria Webster Perez. I'm actually the Associate Director of Stetson University, and I'm joined by a couple of friends today. So just diving right in, I uh, want to introduce you. We have Georgia Southern here. We have Kennesaw State University. NC State University and Stetson. So we're going to be speaking briefly about our schools, about the region that we're located in, and really just kind of give you a better idea for, for what's out there, what's especially looking down south a little bit. But jumping in, I want to talk about why studying in the south might be a great opportunity for you. Um, I think it's pretty obvious the weather is awesome. Um, right now, I think Florida just got a cold front and we are in the low 70s, which is amazing. Um, every one of us pulled out our winter coats because we don't know how to handle anything under 80. Um, but really, the weather in the South is just incredible. There's so much to do where I think all four of our schools are very outdoorsy in nature. So that's something, of course, getting away from the snow is a great thing. But on top of that, affordability. Schools in the South tend to be a little bit less expensive compared to some of the Northern schools, especially if in the Northeast. And I know for most of our schools, we offer pretty competitive scholarship opportunities. There's lots of opportunities to do scholarships through the school, through community service, just different ways to make your education more affordable and get you out of the house, get you out of your uh, neighborhood. In addition to that, there's lots of programs that are very specific to where we're located. I know each of us is going to speak about some of the highlights, but just to give you an example, here in Florida, we have the unique opportunity of having tons of seawater, tons of fresh water, springs, rivers, lakes, all within 15 minutes of each other. I know Stetson offers um, Stet uh, aquatic and marine biology as a combined major because we have every type of water within 20 minutes of our campus. So there's a lot of geo geographically focused programs that you can really only get in the South. And then I know something um, for especially in Florida and I know uh, Georgia as well in North Carolina, there are some major markets booming depending on where you are in the country. Um, I know right now Florida the medical fields are huge. In fact, nursing is considered a negative employment industry right now, meaning there are more open positions than qualified uh, applicants. So that's something we all want to talk about, really the unique features about our region and the job markets available in it. But jumping in, I want to start talking about it. So I'm going to hand it over. North Carolina schools represent... Yeah, so as we work our way south from New Jersey, first stop aboard today's uh, tour will be North Carolina. And I think that some of the beauty of North Carolina is presented not only in these photos, but as you tour the state, I think that it is definitely one of the most geographically diverse states. So there is a lot to do from coast to the inland. So if you have start on the coast side, 300 miles of barrier island beaches, really cute uh, waterfront towns and activities on and off the sand. We also have great mountainous regions, so the Blue Ridge and Smoky Mountains with uh, small towns, but definitely full of character, variety of outdoor activities, and some really exciting food opportunities. 
I'll finish with food because that's my favorite. And then looking into the middle of the state, that's where you're gonna, going to find our largest cities. For your family members who are of legal drinking age, you'll find our wine country, great craft breweries, in addition to great golf courses, NASCAR, and natural attractions. Um, as I said, food's my favorite. Our food of North Carolina is the sweet potato. NC State does some of the most research of any institution on the sweet potato. Um, so if you have any questions on any of that, feel free to reach out. We just posted some new information. Uh, we also are where Krispy Kreme was founded in North Carolina. So lots of great opportunities to get your Krispy Kreme. We do an annual challenge every year where we challenge students to run five miles and consume a dozen donuts and make it back to campus. Um, so that's pretty exciting. And I mean, it's Carolina, so I have to talk about the barbecue. Great barbecue, definitely heavy on the vinegar, but that's just a little sample of the food tour through North Carolina. We do have professional sports, both in Raleigh and spread out throughout the state. So if you're looking for the Hurricanes right here in Raleigh, we have the minor league soccer team, then the Panthers and the Hornets are over in Charlotte. So lots of diversity throughout the state of North Carolina. And then we'll head on south to Georgia. Awesome. All right. So we have two states or two schools representing the state of Georgia here today. So I'm representing Kennesaw State University. So I'm going to talk about Metro Atlanta, where is where that is where we're located. So KSU is about 30 minutes outside of the city of Atlanta, which I think gives us, our students so many great opportunities. Being outside of the city, you do have that more suburban area that you're living in, which is reflected on that bottom left picture. Lots of great hiking. Kennesaw Mountain is an awesome spot that a lot of our students spend a lot of time at. But then just a quick drive down the road, you find yourself in the city of Atlanta. Something that I love about Atlanta is that it's known as the city of trees. So even though it is a metro Atlanta, or it says big city, there's so much greenery throughout the city of Atlanta, which is really pretty cool. We have Mercedes-Benz Stadium, which hosts so many different events, home of the Atlanta Falcons and Atlanta United soccer team. We have Truist Park Stadium, home of the Atlanta Braves. So lots of opportunities to cheer on professional sports teams around here. And then just the city of Atlanta is home to so many different events every year. We have different museums. We have the College Football Hall of Fame, the Aquarium, the World of Coke. Students are never bored. There's a lot going on over in the city of Atlanta. So we're excited for people to learn more and hopefully come visit. And as we go down uh, from Atlanta, down I-16, uh, we have the Southeast Georgia region. Um, we, we like to also call it the coastal Georgia area where Georgia Southern is located. Um, and so one of our campuses is located in Savannah, Georgia, the hostess city. Um, and so that's a, a great spot to be able to uh, explore the, the a lot of the history of Georgia uh, down there in Savannah. Um, lots of free uh, candy samples and just a beautiful river uh, walk scene down there uh, in Savannah. So a great place to, to be able to explore and visit um, and then for our students to be able to get internships and, and job opportunities. Um, also in this area you're going to find a lot of the beaches. So um, the whole uh, you know coastal area of Georgia is just you know one big uh, beach basically going from Tybee Island uh, all the way down to uh, Florida which is really great so students can you know have their choice of uh, many different beaches within either you know 30 minutes from them or a couple hours um, you know going from Tybee uh, to St. Simons and, and everything in between um, and then in this area you're going to find a mixture of um, small quaint little towns, you know, those, you know, traditional college towns, as well as just, you know, your, your traditional southern uh, small town areas, and then also uh, the, a lot of farmland. And so we're going to have the peaches, the pecans, uh, you're going to have the peanuts. Uh, Georgia is uh, one of the largest providers of um, all the peanut production in the entire nation, about 50% um, or more coming from just the state of Georgia alone. Uh, so even though we're called the peach state, we're really the peanut state. Uh, so you're gonna find a lot of uh, peanut farms and peach farms uh, throughout the entire area. Um, and something that's really great is that, you know, students like to, you know, if they just need to get away from campus, just go for a drive, find a nice, you know, stereotypical dirt road to get lost on and just to kind of get away from it all uh, to explore some, some beautiful scenery. So um, we're going to continue our trek down 95 and, and head into Florida. 
Awesome. So yeah, guys, you get to Florida. And one of the funniest things about Florida is the further south you go, the less in the south you are. That's the interesting thing. They always joke around by the time you get to the bottom of Florida, you're no longer in the south. You're now completely off the radar. It's really funny how that works. Well, obviously, we're known for our entertainment. We are known as one of the tourist capitals of the world. You've got in Central Florida, pretty much every major theme park you can imagine from the House of the Mouse, Universal, Legoland, SeaWorld, Busch Gardens, everything all within basically a two mile radius right on the middle of the state. I always call it the belt. Um, the I-4 corridor, the belt that cuts right across the center of the state has a lot of the major happenings. What's great about Florida is that you do get the opportunity, like I said before, to see a lot of different um, climates. Everyone thinks of Florida and they immediately think of swampland, but we actually have some pretty air, uh, arid areas. We have areas that are basically almost considered desert, which is surprising considering you think that we're below sea level, but it's a great opportunity for geographic studies. Um, marine and aquatic biology are huge down here. And of course, you've got the ocean on both sides. So that is amazing. You can go from coast to coast, uh, catch a sunrise and a sunset on a beach, which is super cool. Um, but that being said, I really want to give you guys a chance to learn more about everything that we have to offer. So let's dive in and keep going. There we go. My name is Stephen Warner, and I am uh, the Assistant Director for Freshman Admissions, and I represent Georgia Southern University. Uh, so I'm excited to, to talk to you a little bit more um, about our uh, three campuses. Um, and so to start off, I know that we mentioned it earlier, kind of our location. So uh, we do have three campuses, one in Statesboro, Georgia, one in Savannah, Georgia, and one in Hinesville, Georgia. So we kind of make a little triangle uh, there in the southeast coastal Georgia uh, region. Uh, each campus is about an hour away uh, forming uh, that, that triangle with Savannah being the furthest east uh, right there about 20-30 minutes uh, from Tybee Island and, and the coast of Georgia. Now so talking about our Armstrong campus, this is going to be our campus in Savannah and so this will be our uh, mid-sized campus with about 5,200 students uh, but obviously in Savannah, Georgia with a, nearly, you know, close to 150,000 uh, residents. So it's a small, compact campus where you're going to get to know a lot of people, um, get to know your, fact, your, your professors and the staff on campus and, and form those close-knit uh, relationships and an easy-to-navigate um, Arboretum campus uh, while being able to explore and study um, and get internships and jobs in uh, the city of Savannah. Uh, and so it is an Arboretum campus, which basically means it's a botanic garden. Uh, so one of my favorite places to go for obvious reasons is the Ginger Garden. Um, love to go in there and eat lunch and just see the students, um, you know, navigating campus and, and going to class and, and things of that nature. Uh, so this is going to be on Southside Savannah, um, you know, 15 minutes away from downtown, 25, 30 minutes away uh, from the beach. So great location to be able to, um, you know, get involved with the arts and, and with the coast uh, while still having a small quaint campus uh, to get navigate and, and feel safe on. And then our Statesboro campus. When I talk about this campus, I think uh, basically the complete opposite of our Armstrong campus in terms of population on campus and off campus. So with this one, we are looking at um, a larger on campus feel with uh, nearly 20,000 students just on this campus alone, uh, but in a traditional college town in Statesboro, Georgia. So the town is about 31,000 people. Uh, so we always joke that basically when the students come back, it almost doubles the size um, of Statesboro. So the Walmart gets way packed and, you know, we try to do all our grocery shopping and uh, things like that before the students arrive. But this will be our largest of the three campuses um, with our Division I sports located here as well. So uh, we are Division I, part of the Sun Belt Conference. Um, and so all of our uh, athletic programs are going to be based here on the Statesboro campus. Um, and some of the programs that will be specific to this campus uh, will be engineering and business. Uh, where some of the programs specific to the Armstrong campus will be more in our health professions fields. Uh, so we have majors that kind of cross both campuses, um, but then some that are specific to um, each campus as well. 
Now, um, I don't have a slide for it, but we do have a third campus in Hinesville, Georgia. Um, that is a single building, non-residential campus. Our Armstrong and Statesboro campuses um, are residential, so students live there, um, they can do everything there. Our campus in Hinesville is more for the local community um, of Hinesville, Georgia. Uh, so for y'all coming down from uh, New Jersey, uh, the Statesboro or Armstrong campuses would be the best fit uh, for y'all. Now, when looking at our academics here, um, we do have a, a number of academic colleges, and then within these academic colleges uh, will be all of our um, different majors. So we have the Alney Paulson College of Engineering and Computing. Uh, so that's where our engineering, computer science, IT, um, and construction and management degrees will be located. Uh, we have uh, a unique program uh, called uh, Manufacturing Engineering. So that's a cool one that is, is pretty unique to uh, Georgia Southern and uh, the College of Engineering. Um, our College of Arts and Humanities, that's where we're going to get all of your um, art degrees, uh, which is really exciting. So we have our 2D, 3D, graphic design, things of that nature. Uh, within the behavioral and social sciences will be a lot of the ologies, so criminology, sociology, psychology, um, and then poli-sci, which is not an ology, but that would be in there as well. Um, College of Education, elementary education, middle grades, secondary, special education in there. Uh, within the College of Science and Mathematics, exactly what it says, it's going to be our science. Uh, so uh, chemistry, biochem, um, biology, uh, with, uh, with our mathematics degrees. Uh, we do have grad programs and doctoral programs within our Jack and Avery College of Grad Studies. Uh, we do have a public health college. The one major in there is public health, so that's an easy one to remember. Uh, we do have the Parker College of Business, so all of our business degrees, uh, management, marketing, finance will be in there and then the College of Health Professions. So uh, that is gonna be your nursing, your exercise science. Uh, we do have a doctoral program within physical therapy uh, located uh, within our health professions on the Armstrong campus. So anything in uh, going into like that medical field will fall within uh, the College of Health Professions. And then here's our social media uh, handles here. And so we would love for you to, to follow us on, on these different platforms so that we can keep you up to date um, and share great information with you about uh, Georgia Southern and the admissions process. Um, but that's all I have for you. I'm going to pass it off to our next speaker. Awesome. So next we're going to talk about Kennesaw State University. So Kennesaw State University is one of the 50 largest public universities in the nation. And so to start us off, I'm just going to give you some fun facts about us. So this fall, we've actually had record breaking enrollment with nearly 41,000 students. So we're super excited about that. And these students are on both of our two campuses. So we have a Kennesaw campus and a Marietta campus, and these are both located about 30 minutes outside of the city of Atlanta and about 15 to 20 minutes apart from each other. We have a big owl bus that goes back and forth between our campuses, so it really just feels like one big campus community. On our campuses, we have over 300 student organizations. So I always tell students when they go to college, getting involved is the most important thing you can do because that really makes your university or your college your home. And at KSU, we have so many opportunities for students to do that. And if for some reason in that 300 universe or student organizations, you don't find something that you're interested in, you need five friends and one faculty advisor and you've got yourself a club. So endless opportunities to get involved here at KSU. With our 41,000 students, something that I really valued as a student when I was in school at KSU is that our student faculty ratio is 21 to one. So this really helps you feel like you have that close relationships with your classmates, your professors, and you don't feel like you're getting lost in the crowd here. So you'll have that attention with your professors, they know your name, and you can really make sure you're getting the most out of your experience in the classroom. When you're not in the classroom though, we have 18 NCAA Division I sports teams. So football, basketball, baseball, volleyball, all the things are here on our campuses and you can go cheer on those owls for free as a student, which is pretty cool. We have over 150 degree programs here at KSU. We'll talk about some more of those in a minute. But my favorite fact about KSU is that we have the fifth, based, fifth best dining hall in the nation. The food is really, really good. We have a farm to table program here. So we actually have KSU owned farms right off campus and we grow our produce and other things and bring them right over. So you're eating good and you're eating healthy. You'll never go hungry. So that's just some quick fun facts about us. But now we're gonna talk more about our location. I know we talked about that at the beginning, but diving a little deeper here, I wanna show you exactly where things are and what's around us. 
So at the top of this map, you'll see Kennesaw State University. That includes our two campuses kind of spread across there. And then right underneath us, like where I talked about earlier, is Truist Park Stadium, home of the Braves. Just won our first playoff run since 2001, so they're a really good team to check out if you haven't already. After that is Home Depot headquarters, so that represents all of the job and internship opportunities that are available to you since we're so close to the city of Atlanta. We want to make sure you're spending your time here getting that dream job when you graduate, so building a really good resume is how you can do that. Next is downtown Atlanta, so lots to do. Home of the Falcons, Atlanta United. You can cheer on all the sports teams. You can have some stuff to do when you're not on campus or in class. If you're coming to KSU out of state, which I hope you are, we'll have Hartsville Jackson Airport right there. So you can fly home whenever you need to. It's right next to our campus, just a short drive down the road. And then the last thing on here we denote is the Walking Dead filming because there's really a booming filming industry right now in Atlanta and the state of Georgia as a whole. I always tell people I had a group of friends in college when they weren't in class, they were extras in movies just because they could. So we'd go to the movies on the weekend and try to find them in the crowd. It was a really fun thing they did when they weren't in class. So next we'll talk about our two campuses. These are the colleges that are located on our Kennesaw campus. So going through these really quickly, we have the Bagwell College of Education first. KSU is the top producer of educators for the state of Georgia. So if you're interested in early childhood education, middle grades education, or high school education, this is the place to be. Coles College of Business is next. It's named after Michael J. Coles, who's the founder of the Great American Cookie Company, that place in the mall that has the really good cakes. So he'll come to campus sometimes and speak to our entrepreneurship classes, which is really cool. This also is business, finance, economics, marketing, all that's found here. Humanities and Social Sciences is on our Kennesaw campus, so kind of like that ologies that Stephen was talking about earlier. We also have political science, communications, journalism, that's all here as well. College of Science and Math are a lot of our pre-tracks, so pre-dental, pre-med, that's all there. College of the Arts is a really great option at KSU. We have the largest dance program in the state. And so you can come here if dance is something you're interested in. Our program is amazing. And then Wellstar's College of Health and Human Services. We are also one of the top producers of nurses for the state of Georgia. So another great place to be. Our Marietta campus is STEM majors focused. So this is our science, technology, engineering, and math based campus. So College of Architecture and Construction Management is here. We have a phenomenal architecture program where our students can graduate in five years and begin practicing architecture right away. So you won't have to get that master's degree. It's included in that bachelor's program and it gives you the certification you need to start practicing right away. We have College of Computing and Software Engineering. We have a nationally recognized game design program here in software engineering as well. Then you'll notice some repeats. We have College of Science and Math, College of the Arts and Humanities and Social Sciences on both campuses, giving our students a little bit of flexibility there. And then our last and biggest college on our Marietta campus is the Southern Polytechnic College of Engineering and Engineering Technology. Our engineering programs are amazing. We have incredible labs on our campuses that students can get hands-on experiences and really start building a portfolio in college. So our Marietta campus is the place to be if you're interested in any of these things. And then also, I'm going to put a shameless plug for our social media on here. That's how you stay in the loop. You know what we're doing on campus. And we've been known to give some things away before. So follow us, get in all the, all the fun. And yeah, thanks for learning about KSU. I'll pass it off to our next presenter. All right. Hello, hello. Um, so we are going to move next to NC State. My name is Tyler, one of our assistant directors in the office working with our students from out of state, particularly the Northeast. So happy to work with you all today. Um, and I will just take a brief pause. If you have any questions, feel free to pop those in the Q&A. You can ask us anything specific about our institutions or if you have more general questions about college admission, the college search process headed out of state, feel free to pop those in the Q&A. So looking a little bit more specifically at NC State, we are obviously a state institution in Raleigh, North Carolina. We are the largest institution within the state, and that means that we have about 25,000 undergraduate students, about 35,000 total students. But we'd like to say don't let the numbers scare you. There are countless opportunities for students to find their own wolf pack once you get here onto campus. Across our campus, we will see our students highly engaged um, with both the city of Raleigh as well as campus. So we have more than 700 student organizations. And then our students are 
always finding new things to do within the city. So whether that is some great local dining, some local shopping, interacting with both local and national businesses, there's no shortage of opportunities for our students to take advantage of that weather change for the better and head outside. So a couple points for just looking at our best value. Our students are always finding different opportunities to engage with those employers and set them up for future successes. And we're really happy by uh, what they do after studying at NC State. Next, we'll look at a little layout of campus. So our campus, while all within the city of Raleigh, is spread out into three different areas. So these are all connected um, through our campus bus-wide system, which we call Wolfline. So not too far away from any one part of campus at any point in time. To the right, you'll see uh, to downtown Raleigh. So that's about a 10 minute bus ride from the heart of campus to the downtown area. The green highlights are our main campus. So that's gonna be where the majority of our first year experience is. So we do have a first year live on requirement. Our students will be headed to our student union, different libraries, uh, definitely dining facilities, in addition to a state-of-the-art workout facility, which just completed, that is all going to be at the heart of main campus, that green highlights. To the left, which would be to the west, if you are looking at a compass, is going to be to our Centennial Biomedical Campus. There's no undergraduate courses here, but it is the home to our men's football program, as well as our men's basketball program, which we share a facility with the Carolina Hurricanes for that. And you'll also find the fourth ranked vet school in the nation. So if you're pursuing any pre-professional studies, particularly in veterinary medicine, that would be all out at Centennial Biomedical Campus. There is a working farm and we do produce our own ice cream called Howling Cow. You can get that on main campus without headed out to the working farm. To the south, which is gonna be the bottom of your screen is to Centennial Campus home of our research and innovation. So that's going to be where you'll find our College of Engineering and our College of Textiles. We also share Centennial Campus with more than 75 corporate, government, and nonprofit partners. So while our students are here, there is also a representation from the National Weather Service, Haynes Clothing, in addition to many other companies. We also have a recreational lake at Centennial Campus, as well as the only collegiate golf course designed by Arnold Palmer, which is used by our sports management majors and particularly the professional golf management concentration. Finally, the RDU triangle that's going to get you to the airport. So about 20 minutes away from campus, you'll find a Raleigh Durham International Airport with uh, direct flights to all the major New York City airports. Then we're about an eight hour drive um, from Trenton. To, so if you are Mapping it out, lots of ways to get down to campus. We offer more than 100 different majors in 10 academic colleges. This is just a sampling of our top 10 most popular programs for incoming students. And while we're definitely known for STEM, so science, technology, engineering, and math, we are definitely not STEM exclusive. You can see the wide variety of majors that we offer here. I like to highlight some of our growing programs, including exploratory studies. So about 20% of our students will start in exploratory studies. Here you'll meet with an advisor once a week and also live with students all in exploratory studies. So that's a great way to kind of figure out your first year of college and figure out what's going to be the best path for you moving forward. We definitely have really strong programs in engineering. So there's 18 different majors to choose from in engineering, from uh, aerospace engineering down to civil and mechanical. We're one of two institutions in the nation that have two National Science Foundation um, research labs right on campus, us and Carnegie Mellon. So some really great uh, connections and a part of that community. And then our College of Business is our Pool College of Management. So across the board at NC State, I would say that we have more generic majors, but really specific concentrations. So you can actually only major in one of three options for our School of Business, Accounting, Economics, or uh, Business Administration. But there are some really specific concentrations that fall underneath each of those three majors. And that's definitely a theme that you'll find across the board. I always like to highlight our College of Textiles. I think that they're super unique and doing some awesome undergraduate research, which is available for students of all majors, but they've been working on um, 3D printing face shields for local healthcare organizations and hospitals in conjunction with our College of Engineering. Also do, doing some really cool research on fire protection suits um, as well as fire shields. So we're sharing those resources 
out with the West Coast. So lots of opportunity for hands-on studying at NC State. Quick plug for our admissions website. If you have questions about anything that we're doing, we are test optional for this year and any other application updates can be found on our main admissions website. So definitely feel free to check that out. And then finally, to plug our social media accounts, all of these are run by current students. So if you are wondering what a day in the life of an NC State student looks like, I would highly encourage that you give us a follow. Fridays today is look, all looking at campus transportation. So you'll see the citywide buses, our on-campus Wolf Line, as well as a lot of our students will rent Lime scooters to move around and you'll get some fun videos of our students engaging there. Feel free to give us a call, send us an email. We're here to help answer your questions. We'll keep this tour moving. Awesome guys. So I want to take us over to Florida. There we go. So like I said before, um, I'm with Stetson University. I'm the associate director. Now what I get really excited about when it comes to Stetson University is I feel like I get to describe something that's the best of both worlds. I call us a big, small school. And then people look at me like I'm sort of crazy, like I don't know what, you know, um, opposites are. But let me explain. Stetson is big in the fact that we offer some pretty big features comparable to what you typically find at a state university, but small in the sense that we're actually classified as a small institution based on our size. Now, don't let the size fool you. We have major opportunities that are both on the campus and off. Stetson actually ranked in the top four of Southeast schools. So when uh, we were just evaluated by US News and World Report uh, back on the 14th of September, we were super proud of that. We're also ranked as one of the top five most beautiful campuses in the country. So we are located about 20 minutes west of Daytona Beach and about 40 minutes northeast of Orlando. So we're kind of nestled between two big cities, but it's more of a suburban uh, setting that we're located in. Now, jumping forward, I do want to talk about our foundation. So Stetson is actually the oldest private university in the state of Florida. Um, we were actually founded by Henry DeLand, which is what our city is named after. Uh, we were originally the DeLand Academy, but our traditions at the school are steeped in philanthropy. Um, one of the beautiful stories about Henry DeLand, when he founded the school, he promised all of his friends who moved down from the Northeast that if there were ever to be an issue with their crops, he would actually reimburse them. And that is actually how Stetson got its name because one of his close friends was John B. Stetson, the owner of the hat company. And when Henry DeLand did uh, experience a frost, which those are rare in Florida, but we got one, it knocked out the orange groves. Um, John B. Stetson stepped in and believed so much in what the school was doing. We were actually called the Athens of the South that he gave the money back to the DeLand Academy to make sure that we stayed open and continued to serve the uh, community that we were residing in. Now, I do point out, uh, you notice there are dogs in that picture. That's not just to tease you. We're actually one of less than 5% of colleges in the country that is pet friendly, meaning pets can live on campus in your residence halls with you. If mom and dad won't let you steal the family dog, don't worry. We actually raise service dogs on campus. So you can volunteer to raise service dogs. You actually get them as 12 week old puppies and you get to raise them all the way through graduation, which is right before the end of this uh, semester, to teach them all of their basic commands before they become seeing eye dogs or uh, deaf auxiliary assistants. So um, another thing I want to point out, though, is that our students on average commit about 130 community service, uh, 130,000 community service hours every year averaging out to about 40 hours a student. So we are entrenched in our local community and really play a part in benefiting the entire, benefiting the entire community that we reside in. Now, I do wanna point out, we uh, break up into four colleges and schools. So between majors and minors, we have about 106 programs we are probably going to be most known for our College of Law. I know, especially up in the Northeast, I, that tends to be the number one question I get from students. Stetson's College of Law is currently ranked number one in the country for trial advocacy and number three in the country for legal writing, so like contracts, negotiations. I point this out because as an undergraduate student, if you are a pre-law major through the undergraduate program, 
you actually can guarantee yourself acceptance into the College of Law for your uh, JD program. And what's nice is not only can you guarantee acceptance, you can actually be accepted into a fast track program, R3 plus three. So that is something a lot of students take advantage of if they know law is their long term goal. In addition to that, we're also very known for our School of Business Administration, particularly um, our three programs. We have our program in professional sales. It's one of only seven, I believe, in the country currently that focuses on professional sales skills. On top of that, we also have our Prince Entrepreneurship Program, which focuses on innovation and entrepreneurship. A recent student actually created a new syringe in our innovation 3D printing lab and uh, patented it and has a million dollar contract and they haven't even graduated yet. So very excited for them. But then the last program I always want to highlight from the School of Business Administration is we have the Roland George Investments Program. So for those of you that might be thinking about getting involved in, in investments, you can actually work with a portfolio worth just under $4 million. Real money, real risk, real gains. Um, 25 students every senior year get to work through that program and choose how that money is invested. What's amazing is we actually went up in our portfolio during COVID because they played the market really well. So we're very proud of the students. It went from about 3.4 million to just under 4 million. So we're super proud of them. But of course, also known for our programs in psychology, our school of music is globally ranked. What's great is here at Stetson, we believe in cross-pollination. So we encourage you to major and minor in completely different fields to really create a custom classroom experience. And speaking about the classroom, we only have an average class size of about 20 students. Even as a freshman in your general education courses, you will probably never see a class size over 30 to 35. So we really believe in that intimate academic environment, which is why I like to say you get kind of the best of both worlds. Lots of programs, lots of options, very intimate setting. Another thing I point out is that we have tons of ways to get involved, over 140 clubs and organizations. We do have a very active Greek life. About 30% of our student body is involved in Greek life. And then surprise, we're actually D1 as well. So we're one of the smallest D1 schools in the country, but we have 17 Division I sports. So you can get involved. You can have that big college experience, the big football games, basketball games, pep rallies, and still have that intimate experience with your academics. And then the last thing I want to point out is we are so committed to your success and your long term, you know, uh, advancement in the, your career that we actually make a promise to you. In fact, we promise you that you will graduate in four years or less. As long as you don't suddenly take a year off or disappear and, you know, go away, as long as you stay committed to your academic progress, we promise you that you will graduate in four years or less. And if for some reason a class you need is not available and it's going to derail your your plan we will pay the tuition for the additional semester to get you back on track. We also promise you um, access to internships. Depending on your major, you might be required to do up to two internships just to graduate. Because it's a requirement, we provide it. Um, we also provide faculty student research, senior research, and the ability to do public performance if you're within our School of Music. So what does that promise mean? 91% post-graduation success rate, meaning 91% of our students within six months of graduating are either accepted into graduate school or working in the industry. So very, very proud of the success of our students. And again, I'm gonna do a shameless plug to follow us on social media. The reason I say that is just like with uh, NC State, it's run by students. Um, I joke around, us old people don't even know how to use Snapchat. So I promise it's not me. I don't know anything about filters. Every one of our accounts is run by a current student ambassador. So what they tend to do is kind of hijack them, take you into classrooms, take you into the residence halls and give you tours. Um, I can tell you on our Stetson Admissions Instagram page, under the highlight stories, there's actually a virtual tour of all 32 styles of housing here on campus. Someone was really bored one day and walked through every single residence hall we have. So definitely check it out to learn a little bit more about Stetson from the student perspective. So that being said, we want to open it up to questions, guys. I, I, we've been paying attention to the Q&A. What, what are we hearing out there? All righty, unmuting. That would help. So <laughs> going off with the Q&A, let's start with Georgia Southern. Georgia Southern, what would be like the best reason for a student to go out of state for school? Yeah, so not even just for, for Georgia Southern, but for, for all of these schools here. Um, I am actually originally from uh, Pennsylvania. I was uh, born and raised in New Jersey and then went across the 
the, the border there to, to PA um, and, and went to Georgia Southern as an out-of-state student and um, just felt that the, the South was, was incredibly welcoming. Um, they liked my accent, which is now turned to definitely a little bit more Southern, um, but the, the, the environment of being in the South and, and getting that traditional kind of Southern college experience uh, where, you know, um, I know up in New Jersey and PA, it's it's all about um, the NFL. We're down south here. It's all about uh, college football. And so it was really fun as um, someone from the mid-Atlantic going down south to um, kind of embrace the southern culture of, of what college means down here and, and some of the traditions and things like that, which is really exciting. So um, like we mentioned earlier, the affordability um, is also incredibly key. All four of our schools have great opportunities uh, to try and make it as affordable as possible uh, for y'all to, to make that trip uh, down 95 to any of our campuses. Awesome. I will totally agree. I am a Massachusetts native and coming down south, the weather I was like, man, I have been missing out sunny skies. The summers are great and winters getting that one or two nice snow a year. You still get to experience it, but then not have to <laughs> trench through the snow every day is a really good plus. Anything else anyone wants to add here? Well, not to peek behind the curtain too much, but I am a proud Rhode Island resident currently. So I work with all of our students from the Northeast and from one densely populated state to another New Jersey. I will say the population density decreases in the South. So you're able to spread out a lot more. We have forests on our campus, which sounds amazing to those of us who live in the city and can't even imagine a forest within a drive. Um, so I think that some of that geographic diversity that we highlighted at the beginning, in addition to fewer people, but then more land per person, one of the great things. There's a lot to try and I think that when you explore that geographic diversity for undergrad, you're not giving up your city ways. So if you want to make or break it in Manhattan after graduation, you certainly have all those opportunities to come back home, but it does add a little bit of geographic diversity to your background and I think gives you a competitive advantage when you're applying for some of those post uh, undergraduate jobs. I was just going to say, and I think all, all four of our campuses have that unique ability where you get a little bit of small town feel and you get big city. Like uh, speaking for Stetson, we're, we are in a historic district. It's one of the oldest cities in the, in the central Florida area. And what's amazing is we're walking distance from the, the main city, which is very hip, very modern. But it's amazing because then we're surrounded by basically rural. So you get really a mix of everything. You get the college lifestyle, you get a little bit of a big city, you're 20 minutes away either direction, east or west from big city. So you really tend to see a, a lot of diversity, just like, just like Tyler said, the ability to experience all of it simultaneously and to be able to escape back and forth between them is really nice. And, and just like uh, Tyler, I work with all the students in the Northeast and that was one of the big things I noticed when I was up there is I was like, wow, I haven't seen grass in a while. I haven't seen a tree in a while. So the ability to be able to bounce back and forth between city and nature and water and just, it's so nice. It's so refreshing. I, th I think that's really what it comes down to it. I notice our students are just so relaxed. There's a Southern chill about, about all the schools in the, in the Southeast. So definitely agree. All great points. Well, I know we are kind of running close on time, so we would love if you have any other questions, please feel free to visit any of our websites. Contact us. We are here to help you and answer any questions you have about your college admissions journeys. But to wrap it up, we just want to say thank you so much for attending and leave you with some next steps. If you had anything today that piqued your interest, you want to learn more, virtual tours are a great option. So please visit our websites, take the virtual tours, see campus virtually. It's a great way to start picturing yourself at the universities that we all spoke on. And then please again, engage with us via email, phone, social media, all great ways to stay in touch with us and then attend any other virtual sessions you can. I know a lot of our schools are having virtual open houses, information sessions, things of that nature. There's so many ways to get involved, figure out any of your interests, learn more. We are here for you in any way we can. And then last but not least, the last thing you can do is, is apply for admissions. That is the first step you can take to getting to your college career. So again, thank you so, so much for your time and attention today. We appreciate you hanging out with us and we are here to help you in any way we can.
All right, perfect. I wanna thank everyone for joining us. And when you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. Also, like I said before, sorry as one of my cats walks across the screen. Um, this is just one of many sessions being hosted. There's a whole host of sessions being hosted next week and some later on today. So be sure to sign up for additional sessions at njacac.org. And in about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other sessions recordings at njacac.org. So thank you very much.